Well, Niagara Falls Mayor Paul Dyster is proposing a 2019 budget, which actually reduces the tax rate. But there is a catch here, as some of the savings for taxpayers will be gobbled up by a new fee being introduced as part of the spending plan. To your sides, Dave McKinley tells us what this means for your money. The budget being proposed by the mayor would reduce the property tax rate for residential properties by 13%, 3% for commercial properties. A $2.5 million reduction in property taxes. At the same time, though, the budget calls for collecting $3.1 million from residents through the imposition of a new garbage fee. At $168 a year, it'll be $30 less than what had earlier been talked about and which recently brought protesters to City Hall. Shifting where we derive our non-casino revenues away from property taxes and toward charge for services is not just more fair, it's better fiscal policy for the long term. That and the city had already nearly reached the constitutional limit in the amount it could raise through property taxes as set by the state. Deister got concessions from the police and fire unions surrounding holiday pay that will save the city nearly $1 million and six currently vacant slots for patrol officers will go unfilled for another year. Also helping to balance the books, Governor Cuomo's recent pledge to send $12.3 million in additional aid to the city due to the state's ongoing stalemate with the Seneca Nation of India which has cut off revenue sharing from the Seneca Niagara Casino. Without that money? I think it's likely, you know, we've been looking for every single revenue we could get, including user fees and tax increases, and we probably would have been laying off significant numbers of, of people as well. Deister insists Governor Cuomo has had the city's back all along, but a year ago when we asked him about this, he said he would not send the city money to make up for the casino shortfall. He could have done this a year ago. Why didn't he? I think there was a hope. I can, again, I can't speak for them, but I think there was a hope that there would be a settlement. You know, as somebody who's been involved in negotiations before, I think it does make sense to avoid doing anything that could negatively impact the, the negotiation until your hand is forced. This was an election year. We got that money because it was an election year for the governor and he doesn't do well in our area. That's plain and simple. Next year, it's not an election year. What happens if we don't get the money next year? Well, the city council will now get its hands on the budget proposal and over the course of the next month and a half, uh, make changes and amendments as it proposes to see fit. Uh, you might remember council members here in the last few years have been pretty active in making changes. In Niagara Falls, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.